Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. Absolute, absolute pleasure to have you along. So thank you so much for joining me, you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Okay, might have a little bit of an international day today. It is Saturday uh, in New Zealand at the moment. I am an Australian over in New Zealand. Uh, just um, keeping my mum company while she's going through chemo. She doesn't really need care. She's doing absolutely fabulously. So um not in my usual environment. We're at an Airbnb at the moment, so I do apologise if things get a little bit skew if. Okay, uh, actually, as pointed out yesterday by uh, Gary and David from uh, Twin Tarot, uh, I keep seeing the demise of a certain uh, US political candidate, uh, but I keep seeing it as tied in with his sentencing for Michonne, so uh, just being reminded that in the universal energies, timing is hopeless. And the sentencing was supposed to be, I believe, in July, was moved to September, uh, and then uh, due to the appeal, and then it's been um, moved to uh, December or late November, late no, no, late no, 19th of November, something along those lines. So, yes, the goalposts keep moving, uh, but. Uh, dates. There's no such thing as a calendar or a clock in the universal energy, which is why, why I try and pin uh, events to uh, events to other events. <laughs> so let's see how that plays out. Okay, what I want to have a look at, last by one of my beautiful viewers, to uh, have a look at uh, France. Uh, the French uh, had their elections a couple of months back. There was uh, only until about two days ago, there was still no forming of government because the, there was a coalition that was required, uh, parties coming together, which is what I which is what I saw prior to the election itself. So what's happened is you've got, I believe, three parties have formed government. Uh, there is a centrist conservative party, a progressive party, and another party somewhere in there. I didn't write the actual parties down. The Prime Minister is uh, Michelle Barneau uh, or Mikel Barneau. And uh, needs, they need to present the 2025 budget within days. So the President is still Emmanuel Macron. Uh, he needs to approve the coalition, the three parties that have come together. And they need to present a functioning budget literally within days to meet certain legislation deadlines. So I just want to have a look. How is this coalition government in France? How is it going to go? How it feels full of compromise? And yes, I know something's fallen out there. feels absolutely full of compromise, which coalitions are. Show me how is this coalition government going to be able to perform? You want that one as well? Nothing fell out. Maybe it was just something that flipped while I was while I had my eyes shut. Okay, let's have a look. How is this? And you want that one? Okay, come on down. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, so this first card came out. Oh, how's it going to perform? Possibly not very well. Um, or it could do brilliantly. This is the energy that it's in at the moment, the end of something significant and the start of something new, the death card. It just heralds a significant ending before something new can come forward. Okay, so the ending, an ending, an ending. How's this coalition going to perform? Oh, okay, the, the challenge to it. Okay, thank you. Love it when my boys come through. If you hear them, let me know. Their challenge is going to be uh, relating to the disenfranchised, those that have feel like they've been locked out, for those that have, have felt like their voice is not being heard. That's going to be their challenge. So the elements that look at, look at those that have it or appear to have it, uh yeah it's it's and that's why why we've ended up with three groups having to form a coalition because uh the major parties are not responding to what the people want not not doing what the people want them to do and they're feeling disenfranchised so that's going to be their challenge is to 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 be able to relate and to be able to connect with those that feel like they've been left out in the cold Oh, this is not a bad 
this is not bad. The energies that they're in at the moment, the Ace of Wands, powerful new message being brought forward, a new beginning, new plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay, there were a lot of parties involved. That's in the past. There were a lot of separate parties, special interest parties that uh, received votes in the past. And uh, three have come together and said, yeah, we probably could work together. Crowning this reading, I actually, I don't mind this reading at all. The Empress card, creativity, the bringing of something, birth of something new, feminine energy, uh, which is about compassion and empathy. Uh, but it's also about bringing abundance. So there's a new plan that's being formulated. The end of the old system, the two-party system, due to those that were feeling left out and not heard, there's a new beginning, a new plan, a new message coming forward that is more uh, new age focused. Can I say that? Considering one of the parties is a centrist conservative party, but this is all, it's more about for the people is what I'm getting here. Okay, yeah, a significant ending, new beginning. Closing of a door, opening of a new door, the start of a new dawn, a new day. Okay, how are they going to perform externally? Loss, grief, heartbreak, betrayal, being stabbed through the heart, so externally. Uh Okay, thank you. Uh, there may be some feeling of betrayal that they have formed this government, that, you know, my side's working with your side, how dare they? But I've also got the three, okay, thank you, the three parties coming together. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, the three parties coming together, bringing their own truths to this, the heart of the matter. Thank you. I love it when they point these things out to me. Um, the three parties coming together with their own agendas, their own plans, their own strategies, what they want to bring to the party. At the uh, And they have to work together to bring it together at the heart of the matter is what I'm getting there. Okay. Internally, the Four of Swords, okay, so each party is going to have to give up something that maybe that they've promised they're going to have to, if they're going to come together, they're going to have to also step back from some of, some of what they want to achieve to be able to work together. At the moment, they're in a rest period. What's this, the Four of Swords? You've got these three swords crossed here, these three swords. So three swords coming together as one. So at the moment, they're just going through a, a consolidation moment, a stepping back moment, a working out how they can do this. But these three are still, swords in, are above, higher energy, and they are in front of this bright light new beginning i think this is actually going to be really good for france hopes and fears new beginning new start new way of doing things okay working together the outcome uh bringing forth a power of wisdom and truth and logic and a new strategy bringing forth the sword the ace of swords from an authority position and it's going to be a, a legacy moment could also be oligarchal money that is used to help help others a judgment card a collective awakening a coming together and slow steady progress forward I think this is going to be a really good government. The King of Cups, the emotionally mature, diplomatic, uh, stable king. I actually think this is going to be a good government. Okay. Illusion, delusion, choices, confusion is going to be stopped. 
the lies are going to be exposed. I'm talking about Marie Le Pen and her ilk there, walking away, and then the le new legislation, you know, walking away from certain legislators that have lost, and then we're going to have the temperance as what was is going to be torn down and replaced with something better. I am getting that this is going to be a real reform time for France. I feel that these parties will work well together. I feel that um, they are uh, going to um, bring about real reform, real change, uh, not going to appeal to all. I think it's going to be good. So one of the policies that is being attempted to be discussed is to increase the tax rate. Now, I didn't look into it. I'm assuming it's increased the tax rate of the uber wealthy. I know Europe is also uh, looking at bringing in a base tax rate for corporations such as Google and Amazon and uh, uh, those, those entities that for some reason seem to be able to make a lot of money in a country, learn Facebook, make a lot of money in a country and pay no tax at all. Uh, I believe in Australia, uh, Google, Google and Facebook and Amazon paid no tax in Australia last year despite uh, having a massive turnover. So let's have a look. Is this... So the average person doesn't need to be alarmed in regards to this. So show me, show me as part of this budget that's coming forward. I mean, imagine if those mega companies paid just a 10 or 15% tax. The amount of money that would be raised to be able to balance budgets, to be able to provide services for the people, absolutely huge. So show me, is part of this new government about taxing either those mega corporations that don't pay tax or increasing tax on the wealthy. I didn't look up to see what this actual tax reform was about that they were discussing, but let's have a look. Is this about taxing the, U the Uber corporations, okay, a base tax on these corporations? Is it about, is this new beginning, this new change about taxing? Okay, come on down, let's have a look. Okay, the Four of Swords, again. Um, the three parties coming together, forming one party. This is the here and now. Okay bringing forward new, uh, considering new strategy. I'm not going to say bringing forward because they're not moving. Considering new strategy. And I think they're going to agree on this. Oh, look what's on the bottom. Um, working hard behind the scenes in regards to money matters. Okay. Coming together as a government. The challenge is going to be coming together as a government, but I also see that they are going to come together as a government. The... I'm asking about are they going to tax and I'm going to say yes um, because this is about the uber corporations being seen and heard and this message being put out to them. In the past they were sitting pretty with their money on their crown dictating uh, what they were going to do. The, these, these moneyed up untouchables are finding themselves in the past. Something surprising coming out of left field for them. We've got here uh, the immediate future, parties working together, but also I think they're going to come to some sort of agreement. There might be some negotiation that goes on about how much it's going to be. We'll start at 20, you start at 5, and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Okay. 
Yeah, new beginning, drawing the sword, truth, wisdom, strategy, new beginning, strength in this policy internally. Hopes and fears. It's the fear of the average family. Okay, do not be surprised if Le Pen and her ilk try and uh, uh, sell it as an attack on the average family. It's not. It's not. But that'll be the fear that they'll, uh, Marie Le Pen and uh, uh, the other far right extremists in Europe will try and sell this as uh, attack on on average middle class wage owners. There is an obvious choice amongst all these options. There's a lot of different options about how they can raise their taxes. They will come to a singular decision and it will be the right decision for those that are feeling out and bringing about a new beginning for those that feel like they have been forgotten. Absolutely. I think this is going to be really good. So we've got the hard work going on behind the scenes to, to draw this up, to negotiate and draw this up. A lot of anxiety, nightmare here for those that are trying to keep their dealing secret. But this is about the healing and the nurturing for the people of France, the financial healing for the people of France. We've got movement forward shining a light on those that don't pay their that don't pay their fair share perhaps the shining the light on the snake in the path that the fear mongers that are going through this dark night of the soul moment because they don't want their finances actually revealed potentially going to find themselves exposed and then we've got again this emotionally mature negotiator stable government, a new beginning and the judgment card, collective awakening and bringing a temperance moment. So yeah, I could keep going. The story keeps going about the negotiation itself. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that this is what they're going to be looking at for uh, to, to, ra to raise the money necessary. So the far-right conservatives will try and sell it as fear-mongering for the average person. It's not. It's going to be for the benefit of the everyday. Okay, love to you all. Catch you shortly.